Good morning, this is North Carolina Prepper. I wanted to go over and address some of the questions in my Crystal Radio video. And I'll make, I'll, I'll do another video where I actually make one. And I'll do a better job than this one just thrown together for fun. Uh, basically, the coil decides the frequency, because you're, you're pulling in all the frequencies from the, in the coil that more. You're pulling in all the frequencies from the antenna. There it is, sorry. The antenna's going to pull in all the frequencies. The coil will decide the frequency or limit them. The coil should be 2 inches, and it should be about 100 to 120 turns. That will give you the full frequency of the AM spectrum, which is um, uh, 530 kilohertz to uh, uh, what was it? 1710 kilohertz. Um, basically, this one's about half that, and it's, uh, it's about one inch coil, because that's just what I made, because I, I didn't have a toilet paper tube handy, or anything else, or two inch PVC, but, you know, you can, the more, the more coil you have, the, the bigger your range, also the thicker the wire, but you can use any, any insulated wire, it doesn't have to be magnet wire, <clears throat> I was asked where you can learn about this, the internet, just type in crystal radio, and there's hundreds of designs. I mean, it's so simple. Like I so said, I'll do another one that'll be even simpler than this. Without the um, the tuner here, this is actually a tap. I actually, um... Let me get these off here. Actually, if you look in that coil, I've got the rest of the coil in here so I can do the other designs. That's not connecting anything. It's just shoved in there, the wire. Um, so basically, when, when I go up here... And I adjust this back and forth on creating a tap to change the, the size of the coil, uh, electrically change the size of the coil. So when it's here, only this much of the coil is being used. And all the way back here for lower, and should, like I said, it should be longer. Uh, if this coil was two inches wide, it would do the spectrum. This is about half the diameter, so it does about half. With Without the, uh, the tap here, and if I had the full uh, two inch wide coil, diameter coil, it would pull in all the, all the channels at once, and it would play them all, okay? Now, if we go back to the diode, uh, the, the diode of the razor blade, um, <clears throat> basically, you heat it up, and you blew it, and you create little crystals on there. Uh, these modern razor blades are really hard to work. This is a, uh, here, hold on a second. This is a sharp razor blade is what it is. This is a, a half blue razor blade, and I want to show you how to blue one. I just went ahead and took my regular razor blade out of a shaver. This is a modern modern blade, but this is a windsor, I think. I can't read the. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a that. Winston. Okay. So you take it and you take a, a torch or a lighter, anything that doesn't really produce a lot of carbon, you can just lay this on the electric burner of your stove would be just fine. So you get the torch going here. And it only takes a second, takes a second to melt your camera. So it takes a second to blow it. So I'm going to do this and just watch. Just like that. And it blues the razor blade. And this basically treats oxidation. Back in the World War One or Two or whenever they made these things as POWs, they would take these blades and they would cut, they would get blued razor blades. And the reason they were blued is they're heat treated. But they'd have to heat treat themselves. A rusted blade is fine. Um, in one of my later videos, I went out in the parking lot and uh, second, sorry. I grabbed some uh, rusty nails, or bolts, or whatever. Rusty things. Those two can be used in diodes. And back when I was doing a lot of ham radio and stuff, and I, I lived right in the right apartment, <clears throat> it was covered so there had no balcony. And I couldn't, I couldn't do my antennas or any of that stuff. So what I did is I tuned up the ring gutters. I attached the coax to the ring gutter, and I've also tuned up trees and pickles and whatever shopping cars, but, but the ring gutters, uh, where they connect where the rivets are, the rivets and ring gutters together, the metal ones, they rust, and they perform a diode, just like this, and that makes your radio frequency bleed all over the spectrum, and wreck everybody's cable TV and stuff, you don't want to do that, but I'm just saying what happens, 
So we're going to use these rusted nails, or rusted screws and bolt and screws, in one of the videos later on for the different types of uh, radios we're going to make. So that's how you make the, the diode in this case. Now, I've also, I, uh, where is it? I had my dad send me a chunk of gold from our, our gold mine. So we're going to use that chunk of gold. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I went down one of the, the hippie stores and the incense and vapor stores and I got some iron pyrite. That's really pyrite. It's not gold. Fool's gold. Uh, iron oxide will work as a diode too. Um, I do not have a germanium diode. But I'm going to try switching diodes just the same. You really need one, one in, uh, one in three, four, one in four, three, I don't know. Something like that, germanium diodes that do it. They, they act as a, uh, a point contact. Let me get back to this. This acts as what's, <coughs> excuse me. The razor blade works with the, when you take the graphite and you smoosh it together on the razor blade, the crystals, the blue razor blade, what you're doing is you're forming a point contact diode which detects the AM signal. You know, let me let someone else explain this. I'll be right back. A point contact diode works the same as the junction diodes. A PN junction diode is made of a crystal of semiconductor, usually silicon, but germanium and gallium arsenide are also used. Impurities are added to it to create a region on one side that contains negative charge carriers electrons, called n-type semiconductor and a region on the other side that contains positive charge carriers holes, called p-type semiconductor. When two materials such as n-type and p-type are attached together, a momentary flow of electrons occur from n to p side resulting in a third region where no charge carriers are present. This region is called the depletion region due to the absence of charge carriers electrons and holes in this case. The diodes terminals are attached to the n-type and p-type regions. The boundary between these two regions, called the PN junction, is where the action of the diode takes place. The crystal allows electrons to flow from the n-type side called the cathode to the p-type side called the anode, but not in the opposite direction. Alright, we're back. So that's basically how a point contact a diode works, or a, I guess a PN junction diode semiconductor thing works. So, now that, now that Prepper Pup has explained that to us all, that's how it works, and you have to go. You have to move the the contact point to find the sweet spot to get it to work. Uh, not not everything in here will be as a diode, but like this point might be, but this point won't be. Just a little bit. So you're gonna have to work around. The sharper the 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 razor, the better, or sharper the pencil point, the better. So that's how you do that. That's the crystal radio. If you have any questions, please ask. Now, one thing I want to address in the next video is um, headphones. How do you make a speaker for one of these things? Because you got to make a speaker crash because a normal speaker, it doesn't put out the power, or it's very unlikely. I mean, you could be right next to the station, but it, it can drive a speaker. You need to make a speaker that can be driven like a piezo speaker. Um, I'm going to probably make one out of this lighter here I found. It literally fell in my lap the other day when we were walking out. out. So it's a piezo, piezo lighter, piezoelectric ignition. I'm going to show you how to turn this into a speaker for a crystal radio. Since I don't have a crystal headset or anything. Alright, so I'll do that in another video. But right now, I'm going to show you that. If you have any questions, please ask. Uh, it's a very simple construction. Uh, the ground here can be a water pipe or any, anything. I used a screwdriver the other day. The antenna, longer the better. You're picking up more signal. Uh, this is just a connector, and these are all paper clips that I've opened up, but you could use any wire. The prisoners would use um, electric fence wire or a barbed wire means, and your headphones go here, and then your your ground taps the coil and goes on down there. So, If you have any questions, please ask. And like I said, look on the internet for crystal radio or foxhole radio. Uh, we used to make these things as kids all the time, and they're great, so please ask your questions, and have a great day, and I'll try to get the other video out today, too. All right.